Hello and welcome to this short video on television and video art. Television originally developed out of radio broadcasts, theater, and film. Early television had technical limitations, such as a black and white screen, a 4x3 aspect ratio, and the low resolution of the picture. However, television was quick to capture the imaginations of the public when it was first introduced to a mass audience. Television was deliberately developed as a popular and commercial medium, which explains why so much of our current television programming is directed toward entertainment. The subject matter of television is the moving image, just as it is in cinema, though the range of television seems to be a little more restricted than film, although this has changed quite a bit since the introduction of streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. Let's take a look at some types of commercial television. Television series like sitcoms were the original mainstay programs. Sitcoms often reflected the social realities of ethnic families, using self-contained episodes so that a viewer could start watching a show at any point and not have to catch up on the plot and characters. More innovative comedies emerged after a few decades. For example, Norman Lear's All in the Family, which ran from 1971 to 1979, dealt with controversial subjects like racism, feminism, homosexuality, abortion, religion, and war, among other things. Television serials, or shows with more continuous plot lines, began with soap operas on daytime television. However, serials were developed by the BBC, whose dramas often featured involved plots. One of the most famous examples of a serial that gained widespread prominence was Alex Haley's Roots, broadcast in 1977. Its exploration of slavery and its consequences for one family were a major television event. In more contemporary times, serials have become more prominent. Many premium television channels feature high-budget serials that have become extremely popular, such as Game of Thrones on HBO. Video art, in contrast to television, is non-commercial in orientation. It is, in fact, the antithesis of commercial entertainment television in that it is radically experimental, slow-moving, and often hypnotic. I encourage you to look up Janine Antoni's Tear and Bill Viola's Quintet of the Astonished on YouTube to get a sense for the possibilities and unique qualities of video art. That's about it for this lecture. Thank you, and see you soon.